Hello and welcome to the channel. Be sure to share, like, and comment down below. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button for daily videos on news and politics. Former Trump campaign aide Michael Caputo says that the federal agency attempted to give me Hillary emails. Former Trump campaign aide Michael Caputo dropped a bomb on the in uh, Ingram Angle Monday night. Caputo told Ingram that he was approached by a second government informant. However, Michael Caputo said he is waiting for clearance from his attorney before he offers more details. Now on Tuesday, Michael Caputo joined Neil Cavuto on Fox News. Now Caputo told Neil a second federal agency offered to give him Hillary Clinton emails. All right, not just one, maybe not just two. What about multiple informants that had penetrated the Trump campaign in the fall of 2016? If it sounds incredible, just hear the reasoning behind this. Former Trump campaign aide, of course, queried by government authorities, Michael Caputo, back with us. Michael, good to have you. Thanks for inviting me again, Neil. So you're convinced there were more than just at least one individual? Absolutely, uh, mostly because I was approached as well. But this time, I, I mean, the, what's remarkable here to, uh, to, to my approach is that it happened in the first week of May in 2016, very far off the timeline uh, that the Mueller investigation and others are trying to hold to as to when the investigation into the Trump campaign actually began. So when you say May of 2016, what happened? The discovery of, a, of someone penetrating the campaign or what? Uh, actually, I was approached by an intermediary uh, by, who had been uh, talking to uh, a government uh, official, a former government official, who told him that they had Hillary Clinton-related emails at, the, at that government organization and that they wanted to get them to the Trump campaign. This was May 6th that he heard that in 2016. I was told by the intermediary on May 9th that they wanted to get them to me. This conversation continued back and forth for several days. I, I, I was in Trump Tower at the time. Whenever I got a call from the intermediary, I would walk outside of the office. I spent a lot of time in the hallway outside of the fifth floor office talking to this intermediary. The and I told him that I didn't want to... The fifth Trump Tower. Yes, sir. All right, so you're, a, did, campaign, told him, you're a top campaign aide at the time, at this time in the spring of 2016. This intermediary, what, what, what does an intermediary mean? Um, it's a friend of mine uh, who is willing to go on the record at the right time. I know we're trying, uh, as you know, here on your show, to be cautious about names of people and yes. organizations. But he wants to be on the record. He's willing to talk to Fox. Uh, and he and I were both kind of amazed that we were getting this kind of a contact from a from government who? organization. Who was that coming from? Who was talking to the intermediary or what type of, from what government agency? What could you say? I can't say uh, the Understood. name of the government agency. Right, but it was a, a former contractor for that agency who said that actual staff members of the agency had uh, uh, Hillary Clinton's related emails. We believe that to mean at the time, if you remember the early of May, uh, Hillary Clinton had revealed that she had uh, deleted 30,000 emails and we, had, we believed it meant that they had those 30,000 emails. Uh, by the time the 16th of May came around, I came to the conclusion that I did not want to take possession of these emails, I thought they might be classified documents, and I urged uh, through the intermediary that the people at the government organization do it through a, a proper whistleblower process. I never revealed this conversation to anyone at the Trump campaign. I was uncomfortable talking about it, and uh, I, I then broke off contact with that government organization uh, representative. But you knew back then that someone from the outside wanted to connect with someone on the inside of the Trump campaign, beginning with you. That's right. And, you know, uh, ex 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 I left the campaign on June 20th. That right. same person, the former contractor for the government organization, reached back out to the intermediary again at the end of July, trying to get him interested again in those emails. Uh, but he again refused uh, uh, to, to work with them on it. What really disturbed me at the time, uh, Neil, is that, uh, you know, I, I, you know I, I didn't want to be involved in bringing in this kind of information. I thought it made me look kind of kooky on the first week when I came into the campaign to tell them I had access to Hillary Clinton's deleted emails. And then it became very uh, frightening for me. I thought that it was, you know, it could be a crime for me to take them into my own custody. What later on, I was, uh, I was, uh, I gave this information to the House Intelligence Committee. I gave this information 
to the Senate Intelligence Committee two weeks ago, and I gave this information to the Mueller team, and they never reached out to the intermediary to check on it. Wait a minute. In so fact, you when raised I told the, issue the Mueller you're team this. Just to be clear, you raised this issue with Mueller's team when they were questioning you, um, and they did nothing? They weren't even interested. They didn't even seem to be taking notes. I offered them the timeline. Well, what did you think of that? that? I mean, you're, you're talking about the possibility of someone from the outside trying to penetrate the Trump presidential campaign. Uh, and they weren't remotely interested. They, did they follow up on it? Or even question you more uh, about no. it? No, they didn't. And they didn't call the intermediary who's willing to go on the record about it. I have the telephone number of the former government representative who was trying to give this to us. I don't think they called him as well. He's kind of gone silent. We can't well, find him. What did they tell you, Michael, when they weren't interested at all in that? Well, I was really kind of palms up about this from the very beginning because at first I didn't even think about it because when I was asked by the House Intelligence Committee in July of last year whether I had been uh, anyone offered me emails, they asked me if any Russian offered me emails. And I, it didn't come to mind that someone from the U.S. government apparently was trying to offer me emails. I came back to the to HIPSI, to the House uh, Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence, after recalling this at a later date and gave them that timeline. It didn't seem to interest them either. Um, there's so much you can surmise from that. I won't uh, offer any conjecture here. But I, it, knowing this is out there now, knowing that there was at least one person who was trying to penetrate the, the Trump campaign, and maybe more, uh, did it dawn on you the dimensions of that at the time to say nothing of later on when you were talking to Mueller and his folks? Well, I'll tell you, at the time, it, it didn't, you know, I thought it was odd. I thought it was, I thought it was perilous for me to get my hands on it. And, uh, and, uh, and, and, you know, I frankly didn't think about it much after that. But then, then the emails were released in October from WikiLeaks. Right. And I remembered that the uh, government uh, 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 person who was contacting me through the intermediary talked about the Swedish w waiver on dealing with Iran uh, that was given to the, uh, to the Swedish companies right about the time they, g they gave $26 million to the Clinton Foundation. That came out in the WikiLeaks emails in late October, and it blew my mind, because I remembered then, I was not on the campaign by then, right. I remembered that that had been brought up in the first week of May. And to me, it's, it, it struck me as, why are we talking about WikiLeaks emails All that right. somebody from the government was trying to give me in May? That's startling. Michael, um, thank you very, very much. Uh, former Trump campaign insider Michael Caputo on a development that's raising a lot of questions here as to who would be interested in doing this? Why were several interested in doing this? And when all was said and done, why the Mueller folks really weren't that curious about this. All right, so there you have it. It definitely does not look good for the Obama deep state. It is time that they all be held accountable for their corruption and crimes. That is one thing I know for sure. But other than that, I want you guys to have a great day. Be sure to share, like, subscribe, and comment down below. And tell me how you feel about this report. And let's do our best to make America great again. I appreciate you. Peace.